Hello and welcome to Indie Attack Today with Kelson and Woody. Uh, today we have Tachyon by Bartok Lisok. Hopefully nailed the name. Uh, and Tachyon is essentially uh, futuristic pinball. Yeah, it's pinball with a Tron aesthetic to it. Yes, neon. Now the gimmick to this game is that while it is Tron pinball, the table is dark when you start out, yeah. save for your flippers. And the elements on the table only light up as you hit them with your pinball to reveal more and more of the table over time. Right. So, essentially... You're, it's blind pinball. Essentially, you could argue that there is an element of exploration to it, <laughs> I guess. It's a pinball adventure game. A pin pinball adventure game. There's two modes. There's a single player, which is just standard pinball, and like what he said, you reveal the board over time, and then there's that translated into a two-player mm. mode, essentially. Where, where you're, you're trying to get your ball into the other guys. Yeah, and you score and so, Yeah, you score by revealing that person's stuff and scoring over there, and, and also trying to, you know, get the pinball into there. And you can either play that against an AI, or I believe you can also play against a human, too. I'm not sure if... The, yeah, but it definitely... I, I was definitely able to... Do, I did an AI, for sure. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not 100% sure if you can do it person-person, but there should be no reason why you couldn't. Um, <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, so that is... I mean, you know? I mean, that's pretty much the summation of mm -hmm. what it is. Now, sadly, I don't really think the gimmick to this game, which is the lighting of the pinball table, is all that realized. Yeah. Because it takes a long time to light up objects in the environment, and ultimately, you know, it's not just one hit to light them up. And then, right. ultimately flowing from that is that it's just kind of pinball in the dark for a lot yeah. of the time you're playing. And then the actual tables themselves really aren't all that complex or out of the ordinary for a pinball table. Yeah. Now, I've played pinball games before, you know, there's Metroid Prime pinball and your whole variety of pinball video games. Windows, yeah. XP, standard pinball. <laughs> and the thing with, like, good, fun video game pinball games are they are completely impossible to ever have as a real pinball game. Yeah. Because, you know, Metroid Prime pinball is really fun because you can fight a boss. Yes. In it. Great. And, this is a great point. And this is a pretty mundane pinball game, mm -hmm. all things considered. And I kind of think it's hard to recommend in that light because if you're going to play pinball on a video game and not on a physical machine, right. you may as well play one that's impossible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or just, like, elaborate and cool with all yeah. kinds of gizmos. See, I, I completely agree with you. It's sort of like, what is the, what's the um, sort of user's, you know, reason for playing this? Yeah. And if you're craving a pinball game, I mean, you know, I guess, I guess <laughs> you could play this. But, it, but at the end of the day, I, I thought, the, like you said, the gimmick didn't do enough to hook me. And I think what would... Maybe what you could do with this gimmick of the lighting up of the board is if there was this real sense of a crescendoing, like, oh, you did this, and now yeah. this, and now this, and then this big thing opens up, and there's all this, like, crazy stuff happening. Yeah. And really... If this looked like Casino Night Zone from yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> totally. If it, like, started to go all crazy, and there's this ramping up of things, and, like, maybe maybe it breaks the, you know, it goes out, extends beyond the, you know, in a video gamey way, like a track that is, oh, snap, now it's going in 3D space or something, you know? Yeah. Uh... But it's not that. It's yeah. not. At the end of the day, it's just kind of like, oh, now I can see the normal bumper, you know, that yeah. every pinball machine has, and then it fades after I haven't hit it for a while, yeah. and it doesn't connect the dots to another constellation of yeah. stuff. So at the end of the day, I would say it's probably a pass just because it's like, yeah. yeah. But it, I, it's not bad. It's not like I'm like it's, angry. It's not a horrible game. It's just I just can't really think of much of a reason to play this over anything else. And I can't think of a reason why it was things are lit up. You yeah. know, I can't think of a just of it when there's a gimmick and there's no justification for it. If it doesn't, it's leave, just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick, yeah. And so that's why I'm just kind of like, eh, it just seems like this guy made a little pinball game and, and wanted to make it seem cooler than it, hipper than it is. You yeah. Know, when it's really just a pinball game. So, so sadly, I don't think that's a recommendation from either of us. Yeah, it's it's not something that you know, unless you, I, I legitimately think if you just go to your Windows games right now and play the pinball, it's it, just as good. It's just as, honestly, it's just as good, and it's not an insult it's just sort of like it need i need more yeah i need more it needs more 